Uh, so, okay. Hopefully. Dear Chris I, I have some stuff on my blog, too, about that. Oh, let's, we should mention that. Yeah. Um, what's the uh, name of your blog? So it's Never Ending Stories, which is clearly a Never Ending Story reference, which is definitely one of my favorite books and movies. Um, I like both versions. Um, so it's just kristaheschke.blogspot.com. And when I first started it, when I first started agenting, um, and I add the occasional article now, but I had all these kind of how-to articles. So what do you do, um, for instance, if you get an offer from an agent? Um, how do you handle that? So I was trying to address some things that I felt that authors might not have much access to online if they Google it. Um, so there's certain areas like, that are just seem to be a mystery. But it's like, well, what do I do if this happens? What do I do if this happens as an author? So I was trying to fill some of those gaps. Um, and then I have, you know, the standard stuff too, like query letters and query emails and all those good things as well. So I do have some advice there. And I try to do a new article every once in a while. So I mean, anybody that goes there <laughs> and reads your article about specifically how to write a query can probably write the ideal query to get your attention, right? Probably, yeah. <laughs> so, and I noticed you're interviewing uh, authors there as well. I saw you just talked with our previous <laughs> guest, Annie Sullivan. Yeah. Um, and some other great folks. Mm -hmm. uh, so what, because uh, I, I, I know you have nothing but free time uh, <laughs> being a literary agent. Uh, and I also know blogging takes up quite a bit of time. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously you're doing good for the writer community. You're hopefully smoothing out your inbox with uh, better written queries. Um, <laughs> what, um, I don't know, ROI seems to be the wrong thing to ask, but what, what are you getting? Uh, what benefit have you found that you're getting from your blog? Um, I definitely feel, especially when I first started out as an agent, it was helping me to be seen so that writers could find me and then query me. Um, so it was, it definitely was really helpful to get started. And also, you know, I also, you mentioned the author interviews that I do with my clients and I do giveaways and things like that. So I also try to use it to, um, for author exposure as well. So it's been helpful for that too. Um, and just connecting with authors. So I have my comments open. So usually when I post, um, like especially a new kind of advice article on something specific in publishing, I will look at, you know, the comments and I will try to respond to as many as I can. So I feel like it's been good with probably maybe making me seem, you know, less scary and less on a pedestal to writers and show people I'm approachable and, you know, I want to help authors, too. That makes sense. I mean, why would you be in the job that you're in if you didn't like authors? <laughs> yeah, no, I love that part of it. And I love going to conferences. I actively go to SCBWI. And that's a great place to meet new authors and interact with them. And I, I love all those things. So it's a lot of fun.